So now we're going to move on and do a little bit of the cloth work as well because he does have some cloth in there as well. Uh, for this, let me see if I can find my paint for this. I'm going to be using a Vallejo paint, uh, number 875 Beige Brown. And we're just going to pick out areas that would have cloth. So on the inside of the legs there, there's a little bit just in there. Let's take them off the stand here. You know what I'm doing at this point, so I'm just going to try and keep it as tidy as possible. Okay, so I've went on ahead and painted areas that uh, I think should just be cloth. So we have bits around the arms and bits around the legs. So let's see, at this point, we're going to add one of our first washes, I think. Uh, and we're going to be doing a bada black wash, and that's just to start to tone down all our metallic areas and also the cloth. Uh, so I just grab my Citadel wash, bada black, and we'll just get stuck in and just apply a nice thick coat or a nice heavy coat of the wash and you'll see here on the gun what a difference this is going to make when this all settles down. Okay, so we have that first black wash down. We're now going to let that dry for a while. And when we come back, we're going to continue on working with the, the skin tones in the face. So you can see now with the wash pretty much completely dry, what that overbrushing and that wash has done to the, the likes of the metal on the gun. It's really calmed it down, but still looks nice and metallic. Now, now that we've done that, before we continue on working on the metal, we're going to go back and revisit the skin on the face. So I like dark skinned orcs basically. Um, so that is what I'm trying to achieve here. So what we're gonna do is take some uh, Games Workshop snot green and we're gonna overbrush the, the dark angels green that we painted on the face beforehand. So the same technique as working with the metallics. Uh, get as much of the uh, paint off, the majority of the paint off the brush. And then we're just gonna take swipes just to bring highlights out just exactly like that and I mean that really is as simple as that technique gets you have instant highlights and once we add a final wash to that that'll look fine and that is really it so now we get to just work on areas that we fancy doing. So we're going to look over areas that we want to do, let's say, the red of the armor on. Uh, or we're going to go on ahead and we're going to work on the metal some more. So the first thing we want to do first, we are just going to continue with the metal. Um, we're taking our bolt gun metal once again. And we're going to give a second overbrush uh, to the metal areas that we've been working on. But we're only going to focus on more visible parts. So, for example, here, we're literally just touching these areas from one angle like that. And just taking anywhere else that's a little bit more visible. That way we have a sort of a highlight to the metal as well. So there's not too much to do with this. Um, I really only want want to do that on the likes of the gun barrel there as you can see the difference between the, the bits that have had the wash and the bits that have had the second overbrush so it brings out the vibrancy a little bit more on the back we're just going to touch cables any flat areas that look like they could receive a lot of light
along the back of the feet there at the angle and see him on the other leg and again that's pretty much it guys I mean there's not a lot we really need to do with that so now we're going to move on and paint the armor and for the base coat of the armor we're going to be using Citadel Foundation Mechanorite Red of course there's a big blob of paint over the title so you can't really see it that well and this is what we're going to use to pick out the areas that we want red. Now I don't mind a lot of colour on orcs, but I kind of like the, the guy to have a, a relatively dark colour scheme. So if I can get him into focus again for you, we're just going to figure out where we want the red. So we're going to do it along the jaw. So we just apply the mechanorite red to the jaw. And like I said, this is only really the base coat of the red. So there's going to be another red on top of this to bring up the vibrancy of it. This also gives us a chance to hide any of the bits that we've accidentally overbrushed with the snot green while working on the face. So we'll just run that red to the edge of the jaw. And it's not an exact science painting works, but at the same time, you still want the, the paint scheme to look purposeful as if it was meant to be painted that way so just slapping it on with a brush doesn't give that effect you still have to make it look as if this is the way the orcs intended it to be painted and slapping it on very roughly in any paint scheme just looks terrible it never seems to fit because you're working with a miniature and the miniature needs that TLC regardless of the style that you're painting it in.